Hi, my name is Alexi and today we're gonna discover new Cloud3 models and we'll create a few simple apps to test their capabilities. Anthropic released a new Cloud3 models family which include Cloud3 Haiku, Cloud3 Sonnet and Cloud3 Opus. These multi-model models can work with PDFs, images and text up to 200k tokens, but models can cannot generate images as for now. Cloud is currently available in the following countries. You can't find a lot of European countries on the list. Here you can find the model's comparison. Anthropic claims that flagship model Cloud3, Opus, overperform GPT-4 and Gemini 1.0. You can access Cloud3 Sonnet for free using cloud.ai chat. You only need to register there and confirm your phone number. Let's open Cloud UI. As you can see, the models can also convert UI design to front-end and extract the text from images. First, let's discover the default Sonnet model. Let's analyze the Cisco AI readiness index. Here is PDF file. We download it and upload to our UI. Let's start the conversation. Let's try with following prompts. What strategy should I apply to attract more talent to my AI-focused organization? And the completion is pretty good with the suggestions based on our PDF document. Let's work with images. The Cloud3 models have sophisticated vision capabilities on par with other leading models. They can proceed with range of visual formats including photos, charts, slides and technical diagrams. Let's go ahead and upload a photo from the Cisco Live event. Here you can see it. And let's use the following prompt. Please describe what is in the slide and display the GitHub link. Let's validate the model completion. Next steps, requirements size 3.1, all of it ports TCP443. All is good, let's validate link. Let's try with more, one more shot. The project name is PX Grid. Let's see. And again, I see that there is a typo in the URL. I have tried this a couple of time with four shot, five shot, and it look like the URL is incorrect which might be because of bad quality or because of there was an underlined link here. Anthropic has one of the best API documentation with clear API operation descriptions and good description of possible HTTP errors here. Cloud3 shows good speed and cost effectiveness, especially Cloud3 Haiku, which as claims overperforms GPT 3.5 and Gemini 1.0 Pro. Now we're gonna chat regarding recently released Build for Better Code Challenge, AI and sustainability. All we need is site URL. Let's go to the Juniper notebook run first code snippet where we import anthropic packages and create anthropic client with related API key. Then we will use and parse our site. 
Then we construct our prompt with content where we include our page content and also ask what solution do I need to build and how do I submit my work. Then we send this information to Cloud API. I use Cloud3 Hyco model which shows better results in this case than Sonnet. Let's validate the completion. The key details are solution to build. The challenge is focused on building better AI and sustainability solution. You should come up with an innovative idea. How to submit, register and sign up, develop your solution, submit your project. The main steps will be understand the challenge, come up with creative AI powered sustainability solution, develop your project and submit your work. That's it. And finally, in this part we will use Anthropic API plus Cisco Security API. We will enrich the prompt for Cloud model based on the information about the domain risk score from the Cisco Umbrella API. Let's come back to our Juniper notebook. First, we will import related Anthropic packages, create client. Our domain prompt contain information about four domain URL. One of these domain URL is malicious. Then we will create functions, generate token that allow us to work with Umbrella API. We will create functions get domain risk score that receives two parameters access token and domain. Then we will loop through our domain list and retrieve information using Umbrella API. Our prompt look like this your Cisco domain analyzer. The domain is malicious if the domain risk score value is close to 100. Domains with the risk score values from 0 to 40 are safe. Please report with the table with the three column domain, risk score and is domain safe. And we will concatenate it with information received in previous steps about domain risk score. Let's send this information to the Cloud API. We will use Cloud3 Opus model. And uh, let's validate our completion. Uh, here we, you can see table with the domain analysis results. One of these domain is malicious domain with risk score 100 and it's marked as unsafe. Quick summary. Cloud3 models show very good performance and speed. Cloud3 Haiku is one of the best models that I have tested in the price quality ratio. Thank you and bye.